it is now 2012, the year that we have never seen before. I reflect the time that 1929 when I came to Selma, Alabama. It was just like having to be in a prison. African Americans could go nowhere that they wanted to go except on Saturdays. And many other people were unable to only work and could not get off of the jobs and having, for instance, teachers having $20 a month which was not enough for them to get a good meal. And with that, we had to, I had to do something. With my husband and I, we decided that we were going to work with people to make them free. They were not free. And one reason why they were not free was because they were not registered voters. A voteless people is a hopeless people. And they were hopeless. And when we fought that time to get them to become registered voters, we had a few people who went to the river, crossed the river, and unfortunately, and, and fortunately, I didn't die. But I was beaten. I was cattle prodded. The, the cattle tried to step over me. The horses they had were horses that had better sense than they, and they stepped over me rather than to step on me. And when I was beaten and the cattle prods were used, and not only that, the uh, gas was used that actually today I am still in uh, the trouble is still in my throat. And I will take that to my grave. But when I was beaten and they said that they would send, uh, one of the members said, send an ambulance. And the, ch the chief, that's the sheriff, who was the sheriff, the chief, chief, and everybody was gone. I was lying on the ground. And he said, no, I'm not sending any ambulance over there. If anybody is over there that's dead, let the buzzer feed them. And of course, they said we would burn this town down. They didn't have to burn it down. Instead of sending an ambulance, he sent he sent uh, a hearse. And when I actually awoke in the hospital, I asked what happened, and they told me how they had used the tear gas and how they were beating me with uh, clubs, I said, I am more determined today than I will ever be in my life. So this is a 27th, this is the 47th anniversary, and we are still fighting and still working, and there are so many things we have accomplished. There are many more that we will accomplish. We've got young people now who are very interested, and they are going out knocking on doors, ringing doorbells, telling people we want you to be a hopeful person rather than a hopeless person. So we say to every young person who is uh, 18 years of age, Every person who has not been registered or who has not voted within the last two or three years to go on down because you don't want to be a hopeless person. You want to be a first-class citizen, and that is the one thing that will make you a first-class citizen, to register, vote, and cast your vote. We are not going to say where whomever you wish to cast it for. But that's, that's a ticket to first-class citizenship. <laughs>